everyone, uh, we are a dementia group and we are, these are all my mates. And before that, we have uh, dementia awareness. And our leader will start first to proceed with what is dementia. Dementia is a syndrome or an umbrella term to describe a range of symptoms associated with cognitive impairment. It is not a specific disease. It occurs when the healthy neurons stop working or brain cells get damaged and die. The damage interferes with the ability of brain cells cannot communicate with each other. And when brain cells cannot communicate normally, thinking behavior and feelings can be affected. Dementia has seven stages. The first stage of dementia is non-cognitive decline. They will function normally, no memory loss, and have mentally, mentally healthy. The second stage of dementia is very mild cognitive decline. It is the stage is not strongly felt yet, and progressiveness is associated with aging, of course, but are not evident to the families and physicians yet. The third stage of dementia is mild cognitive decline. At this, in this stage, families often notice declined cognitive abilities, increased forgetfulness, slightly difficult concentrating and trouble with problem solving. The fourth stage of dementia is moderate cognitive decline. In this stage, patients start to experience more difficulty concentrating, concentrating decreased memory of recent events. Um, the fifth stage of dementia is the severe cognitive decline. In this stage, the patient requires some assistance to complete daily activities, like there's dressing, bathing, and preparing meals. The, the sixth stage of dementia is a severe cogn cognitive decline. Extens extensive help is required to carry out daily activities that they may start to lose control of their bladder and bowel fa or face speech difficulties. Delusion and compulsions may occur as well. The last stage, dementia, and very, is very severe cognitive decline. During this stage, the patient will become unable to care for themselves. They will lose ability to speak, walk, smile, and suffer from communicating and motor impairment. Jane will explain the causes of dementia. There are certain types of dementia that are merely temporary and brain regain loss, loss function when diagnosed and treated early, such as brain disease, depressions, medication, malnutrition, heart disease, traumas, metabolic, or endocrine disorders. Infection and environmental changes, it is important to evaluate dementia symptoms comprehensively so as not to miss potentially treatable conditions. And there are also types of dementia that are non-reversible or the most common types of dementia that cannot be stopped and get worse over time, such as Alzheimer's disease, frontotemporal de de dementia, vascular dementia, dementia with levy bodies, and other disorders linked to dementia such as hun Huntington disease, traumatic brain injury, Rothfeld Jacob disease, and Parkinson Parkinson's disease and mixed dementia. That's all, thank you. Karen Lynn Benos will explain the early symptoms of dementia, possible signs. Sign and symptoms of dementia. A person with dementia will most likely show these early signs and symptoms, such as short-term memory loss, difficulty communicating thoughts, getting confused often, misplacing things, rapid agitation and mood swings, difficulty identifying humor, lapse in judgment, frequent falling and tripping, lack of initiative and apathy, and disregard for grooming and personal hygiene. Other other possible, possible signs and symptoms of dementia, um, problems calculating figures, handling money, or dealing with numbers, slight, slight um, slowness of uh, thought, difficulty finding the right words or other trouble with language, 
um, skipping lines while reading, loss of mental skills and sense of touch as well as smell. Um, deep skipping lines, um, withdrawal from work or other social activities. Thank you. As, as dementia become worse, symptoms are more obvious and interfered with ability to take care of themselves. There will be change patterns of often waking up at night, difficulty doing tasks such as preparing meals, choosing pre proper clothes or driving, forgetting details about Korean events, forgetting their own life history, losing awareness of who they are, having hallucinations, arguments or having violent behavior. Having delusions, more difficulty in reading or writing, poor judgment, and using the wrong words. People with serve dementia can no longer perform daily living such as eating, dressing, and bathing, recognize family members, and understand language. Thank you, Thank Venus. You. And Sheila uh, will explain the rest factor of language. Doctors diagnose dementia and other types of, of dementia is based on careful medical history, physical examination, labor laboratory tests, and the characteristic changes in thinking, day-to-day -day function, and behavioral associated with each type. Doctors can de determine that a person has dementia, but it's harder to determine the exact type of dementia because the symptoms and brain changes of different dementia can overlap. In some cases, a doctor may diagnose dementia and not a specific type. If this occurs, it may be necessary to see a specialist such as neurologist or geropsychologist. Another test and procedure may be done such as the B12 level, blood ammonia levels, blood chemistry, blood gas anal analyst, head CT mental status, MRI, thyroid function head, and urinalysis. Many factors can eventually lead to dementia and can't be changed, such as the age and family history, Down syndrome, and mild cognitive impairment. But there are also factors that can be changed, such as the heavy alcohol use, cardiovascular risk factors, diabetes, smoking, and sleep apnea. Thank you, Sheila. Eva will explain the treatment. Okay. Treatment. There is no such dem there is no cure of dementia presently, but there's available treatment that can manage the symptoms and slow down the progression of disease. Treatment is dependent on the condition and causing of dementia, but some people may stay in the hospital for a short time. Treatment may use temporary to improve the symptoms and are the following. The medicine, cholinesterase inhibitor including the danfizil, pirabistamine, and galatamine, minatamine and other medication that prescribe or treat or prescribe the doctor for the treating for the condition of dementia. Second is the therapies. There's a lot of therapies that may help to reduce agita agitation and promote relaxation with dementia, such as occupational therapy, music therapy, pet therapy, arom aroma therapy, massage therapy, and art therapy. That's all. Thank you. And Leo will explain the prevention. Prevention. There is no short to prevent dementia, but the, uh, there are steps uh, that you can help. The first one is uh, act, uh, act, uh, keep your mind. Active. Keep your mind active. So uh, we have such as our word, uh, word search or a puzzle. So we uh, prepare some uh, word search. Uh, Research games that uh, later you can avail our uh, PG chart for the first part as I can finish first. And then the second one is uh, be physically and socially active. The third one is uh, with, uh, be physically and socially active, uh, example, uh, exercise. The third one is uh, quit smoking. The fourth, uh, get enough vitamin D. The fifth one is main, uh, maintain a healthy diet. Uh, six, have a regular checkup. And the last one, lower your blood pressure. We have an um, example for who's a poor person who uh, 
to the pastor, and then we had the rewards. <coughs> We had award a free T-shirt for our group. You mentioned for the first four, four persons who were first, we will have this shirt for you. Who <laughs> wants to join our? No such time limit. Just uh, first part to finish. So, in our dementia group, what we can say if if we have a proper education about dementia, and if we understand what is dementia, good planning will exist, and if we support people with dementia, we might help everyone to ease the burden of the patient and as family as well and with a healthy lifestyle and most important we should always take care of our brain because healthy brain is our real well. Thank you. That's all.